If you are getting more than 15 minutes of damage on the 104, I'm going to show you how to make a pretty big improvement. Hey everyone, Derpy here, and welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. The last 104 video I posted, I didn't have any gales on my fleet. I thought there aren't any rockets in the target, therefore, or there aren't any mortars in the target, therefore we don't need gales. Unfortunately, because Kickside Cheats, turns out gales are helpful. I have refitted two ships to include high-velocity rounds, a countermeasure special for anti-explosive, as well as about eight gales on fleet, and I'm getting about 15 minutes of repair. If you auto, you can still actually get instant base repair, which is pretty nice because it means you can do the entire event for free. So what I'm doing is I'm just moving around and trying to stay at maximum range from all of these explosive guys. You can see my gales are firing and that the high projectile speed is really important to actually catch all of these rockets, although really they should be mortars, I don't know why they're rockets, before they actually land. You can see I'm also following what a few people told me in the comments, actually maybe just one person, in terms of keeping a maximum distance from these little explosive guys because you really don't want them getting close to you because they do hurt. And right here, I'm just going to focus the main big ship, get that one down pretty quickly, and then the concussive ones just die as a result. Again, these three explosive ones right here, watch my yellow gale shoot out here. You want to take down every mortar, and with gales, having more of them does help. Unfortunately, this does mean I am getting hit more and more by the uh, concussive, by the torpedoes, just because I have fewer cormorants on there, and cormorants work like gales in that they can shoot at something multiple times. For that reason, just for this video, I've thrown on a sea serpent screw, which should be able to help quite a bit in terms of having these things miss more often, especially because I don't have the highest evade build out there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the damage, the battle report, and the build, and see just how much adding about 8 different gales did help on, and it should be quite a lot. As you can see, explosive, I have 2% resisted, so I did take 1 or 2 hits at the very, very far end of my range, and the concussive here is just mainly concussive. Again, evade will help against this one, as will uh, sea serpents maybe for the evade and steelheads for concussive defense as well. In any case, the battle repair is 26 minutes damage, which is close enough for instant base repair. I could record this thing about five different times and just show you the best result, but this is going to be good enough. You can improve on the driving, and there is going to be some randomness in here anyway. In terms of the changes that I made, I did these for free by using my X1 Falcons and my free U3 Falcons from the uh, FM in the High stakes TLC, I believe it's called, to get uh, tokens for the Impalers by using my Falcons. I did about three or four uh, rounds of that just to get two two-day tokens. Did some changes here. You can see four gales on this one. I have the Hydro Atomizer Nozzle, which helps out against, uh, which helps for anti-explosive and also does give you some concussive reload, which is nice. I took off a full damage special to put that one on there, not affecting my splash damage reduction or anything like that. And then again, this is the same standard chip, four gales, high velocity rounds on here. It was the best projectile speed special I could find. And this one works well enough, I'm happy with it. Uh, funnily enough, I think I probably get less damage than 26 minutes if I auto. Just shows you how good I am at autoing. If this refit change did help, let me know by leaving a comment below and make sure you share it with someone in your alliance too. If this helps you, you can help them as well. And if you already knew it, you can kind of tell me I'm silly in the comments. I want to give a huge thank you to the channel members whose names appear on the end screen now. They're helping keep the channel running and are why I can provide things like the build stock. If you find that doc or these videos helpful and want to support, you can click the join button on YouTube. As